This is Isaac Ferry with Crop Tech Consulting bringing you this week's edition of Technology Tuesday. Over the next few weeks, our segments will focus on infield diagnostics and planter settings, touching on the importance of running the right down pressure, closing wheel assembly and tension, and adjusting row cleaners to achieve a uniform seeding depth and seed to soil contact. This will help ensure that we have an even emergence and stand establishment that will lead to uniform ear development later in the season. When digging behind the planter to identify field conditions and properly evaluate planter settings, we have to change the way that we traditionally evaluate seed depth within the field. The normal way for checking plant depth is for us to dig parallel with the seed trench, going deeper and deeper until we either flick the seed out or we find the seed, um, and then we start to measure down from ground depth. This may work, albeit not very well, for determining seed depth, but it destroys a lot of ev other evidence that we're going to want to use to correctly set other aspects of the planter while we're in the field. So we have to change the way we think about it a little bit. To correct this, as shown in the video, we want to attempt digging up, digging perpendicular to the road direction. Uh, once this tr trench is dug, we'll use the knife to slowly shave away the sidewall, working back until you can eventually see the seed. Once that is done, we can look at a long list of attributes that may affect seed germination and emergence, not just seed depth. So as he finds the seed here in the video and, and starts to zoom in on it, we can look at a long list of other factors that we'll want to take special note of. We can look at the water front in the row. So where's the water line? Where's our moisture level? Which we'll touch on in later segments when talking about row unit down pressure and closing wheel selection and how making changes to those can affect our water fronts. We want to ensure that we don't disrupt this water front and dry out the seed and we also want to make sure that the seed is planted into adequate moisture and that any slight variances in seed depth don't cause a seed to come out of that moisture into dry soil uh, which could cause uneven emergence and, and uneven germination. When setting the down pressure we also look for sidewall smearing and compaction. Sidewall smearing would show up as a line or opening above the seed where the sidewalls don't completely merge back together. Ideally, when we dig back and find the seed, much like in this, in this video here, there should be no evidence as to how that seed was placed underground. Right? It should be tucked in there with good seed to soil contact uh, and, and no evidence of where the seed trench actually was. And this allows us to look for air pockets around that seed and check seed to soil contact, which we wouldn't have been able to do had we been digging down from the top parallel with the actual row. We can also check for residue and furrow. All right. And then we can start to determine if row cleaners could or should be adjusted to move, remove the possibility of in furrow uh, residue particles or pieces. Make sure that we get good seed to soil contact uh, and even germination all the way through the row from row to row and, and definitely down the row itself. This also allows us to see if we're getting any dry soil flowing back into the seed trench. Dry soil flowing back in definitely affects our germination. If that's the case, as we'll discuss later, we may have to make adjustments to our row cleaners, our row unit down pressure, and our closing wheel selection and tail wheel pressure, or all of the above. Uh, but by digging sideways or perpendicular with our seed trench, shaving back to where we can actually see that seed, it opens up a whole realm of evidence that we can use to evaluate our planter settings in the field, whether we're conventional till, no-till, um, vertical till, strip till. We can use the, the same techniques, the same diagnostic skills to make adjustments on our planter. So stay tuned as we tackle different planter settings and infield evaluations in the coming weeks. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Technology Tuesday. Please check our website for more information and other videos.